Hello everybody! In this video, I'd like to show you the top 5 types of apps you should remove from your phone immediately. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Google Play is an excellent platform for new developers willing to publish their own applications. Unfortunately, not all of them have only best intentions. Some apps can collect your data, send your personal information elsewhere, and even try to steal money from your bank account. So, here they are, the applications you should say goodbye to as soon as you find them on your phone. And let's begin with weather apps, such as the Weather Channel, Weather Pro, Weather Boom, and the like. In fact, this type is a wonderful example of how a very simple app for letting you know the weather forecast can become a true monster hogging tons of resources only because it's overloaded with all those functions you don't really need. Animated wallpapers, weather maps, all kinds of widgets and lots of other useless junk – all of them eat up the precious megabytes of your phone's system memory. Every few minutes, such app goes online, wasting your battery charge bit by bit. As a sound alternative, consider using a browser. Google can give you a weather forecast for a week or even longer. The next one on the list is the Facebook app. At the moment, Facebook is the most popular social network in the world, so it's no wonder millions of people have its mobile version installed on their gadgets. The mobile client lets you receive notifications on the likes your posts receive, upload new photos, and always keep in touch with your friends. In exchange for all these conveniences, it consumes tons of system resources and reduces your phone's battery life considerably. After all, the Facebook mobile client is among the top resource-intensive apps for Android. As an alternative, I can recommend using the mobile version of Facebook in any browser you have on your device. The functionality is somewhat different, and you won't be able to see notifications popping up here and there, but it will make your phone's life easier and save its battery charge. Otherwise, try, fa try Facebook Lite. It needs less resources and features just the same set of functions. An antivirus is another useless piece of junk you may have on your phone, antivirus-free, and many others. With all the attention given to this topic, there is still no definite answer to the question – do Android gadgets really need an antivirus? And my personal opinion is this. As long as you don't root your phone and don't install cracked apps from doubtful websites, you don't need an antivirus. Google takes great care of the contents it selects for its online store and immediately removes any potentially dangerous elements, so round-the-clock antivirus monitoring will only affect performance of your gadget uh, without any real-life benefits. And if you do feel suspicious about your phone's health, all right. Install the antivirus, scan the gadget, feel relieved because everything is fine, and remove it for good. After all, some devices feature integrated apps to combat malware, so why not? The part I couldn't possibly miss is all kinds of system cleaners and optimizers. Cleanmaster and other similar apps make sure the cache is cleaned in time and unnecessary apps are removed. On the other hand, most up-to-date smartphones already have these functions built into the operating system, which makes third-party optimizers obsolete, while they'll still consume a large piece of cache and battery charge. So forget about accelerating your phone that way. All you can get is a significant slowdown with a nasty bonus of ads. Apps that claim to boost your RAM are in fact the same as optimizers. All they can do is to clean the cache in time. Hey, your phone can handle this task on its own. Talking of RAM, there is no way to get more system memory than a gadget does physically possess. So in the end, RAM boosters can only waste your phone's resources and probably collect your data. 
The Fragmenters enjoyed a boom in popularity when they first appeared, and that's because the idea sounds similar to using special programs for hard disk defragmentation with good old PCs. But wait, there is no hard disk to defragment in your phone. These apps just analyze how much internal memory is used by certain programs or files. In addition, the fragmenter apps will also consume your phone's resources and may collect your data again. So, if you are using an app like that, I'm going to disappoint you. Most of them do nothing at all, and some can even be harmful. You can clean the cache and remove junk files after uninstalled programs just by using integrated system tools. Uh, what you think can boost your RAM will in fact make apps work slower, instead of the acceleration you have been promised. As a solid alternative, go to the settings and clean the cache manually or use the built-in system tools. The last item on the list is browsers with extra functions – watching videos or broadcasts and so on. Such apps have two considerable disadvantages. First of all, the amount of annoying ads you're going to see is incredible, which certainly doesn't help to enjoy the experience. Secondly, your privacy can be in danger. Apps want access to so many functions, even managing your calls, that it becomes suspicious. Instead, try using just good browsers customized for Android devices. I recommend Google Chrome as one of the fastest and most reliable browsers. Lots of functions, support for latest web technologies, options to save mobile traffic, and simple user-friendly interface. To remove unnecessary apps, just open the settings on your phone, select the applications you don't need any longer, and tap to remove them. Here you are. A simple way to get rid of all third-party apps you don't want to keep. That's all for today. I hope this video helps you clean your phone from useless apps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!